Are we on? Are we live? <laughs> All right. Uh, today's lesson is martinis at the house. Um, some tools that you will need for making a different variety of martinis um, would be uh, well the means of putting it into the glass, measure, measuring. Uh, you got two different ways of measuring. You've got uh, the pour spout that goes right on the bottle. Um, different counts, each count every half second is like a quarter ounce. So if you're uh, making a cocktail and you know it's calling for a half ounce of something, you know you're gonna twist the uh, turn the bottle over and you're gonna count you know one, two, that's about a half ounce. Okay, another way of doing it are these things called the jiggers. All right, there's a lot of different measurements. These have two different, three different uh, jiggers uh, measurements. You have uh, a one ounce and a half ounce on this one. You also have a, uh, a one ounce again on this one. And just kind of go one ounce on this side and then you got three quarters on this side. You know, obviously if you want one and a half of something, you're gonna use this one twice. Be really difficult to grab the one ounce and then try to find the little half ounce. You know, choose one. You don't need both of them for the house if this is the way you want to go. This helps with the exact pour measurements. Like baking, we have to have the exact uh, recipes. Um, something else you might want to have at the house is a, uh, sir, a stir spoon, a, uh, a mixing spoon. Uh, it's got uh, tools on both ends. It's got obviously the, uh, the spoon for uh, mixing the ice, making martinis, stirring it up. Uh, on this other end, what a lot of people don't know is that this red cap is supposed to come off. All right, this is a muddler. This is uh, this helps in the glass, kind of breaking up or squeezing the fruit or whatever you have down on the bottom. So uh, this is a multitasking tool. Uh, some other things that are important are your strainers. There's two different types of strainers. You've got your Hawthorne strainer and you got your julep strainer. Uh, the Hawthorne strainer is probably the most commonly used at the bars. It's um, used to strain ice out of uh, the shaker glasses. Uh, it's going to allow pulp, it's going to allow seeds or anything that's in your uh, shaker glass to come and be poured into the glass. You know, there's a lot of uh, um, cocktails that uh, you maybe want to see some like, like some lemon pulp or something. Um, the julep strainer, this fits right over the, the, uh, the glass part of the, uh, the Boston shaker. This uh, this will uh, strain out any kind of pulp, any kind of seeds, something like that. You'll be able to just kind of put that right in the cup and just pour it. We've got two different types of knives. That's not my knife, here's my knife. Okay. Uh, I'm a big fan of the serrated knife to cut your fruit. It, it's a lot easier to cut versus the uh, straight. You're gonna need a very sharp straight edge if you're going to uh, go with the, uh, the straight paring knife. Um, one of the big problems is if you got the tougher rind of a fruit, uh, you're actually going to be pushing down on the rind before you can actually cut the fruit, where a, uh, a serrated knife is actually going to be able to cut it much easier and straight through. Uh, so I'm a big fan of the serrated knife. Um, there's two different types of uh, shaker glasses. We've got the, um, the the cobble. We got the cobble shaker. Okay, it already has a, a strainer right inside the lid. Kind of goes over as such. And then we also have what they call the, uh, the Boston shaker, which is this, basically the same tin, but you're using a pint glass. Um, you're also going to use this for your uh, stirred martinis. Uh, you're going to use the, uh, the mixing spoon, you're going to stir it in here, you're going to use the julep strainer uh, right out of the glass for this. Um, so those are probably some of the tools that you will need in the house to have a nice bar set up for martinis. And uh, let's get into maybe uh, trying out some different style of martinis. See you in a bit.